You may have clicked this and be wondering, why on earth would anyone attempt to cross Skyrim in a perfectly straight line? Well, it's because of one of my favourite YouTubers, GeoWizard. He's well known for his GeoGuessr videos, but he's also a seasoned adventurer. Why am I telling you this? Well, because he's also known for crossing entire countries in perfectly straight lines in a bunch of amazing videos. If I attempted these challenges in real life, I'd likely fall down a cliff to never be seen again. But I had a thought. What sort of adventure could this create in the game world? So I set myself a challenge. I wanted to be the first person to cross Skyrim in a perfectly straight line. You might be sat there saying, how does this challenge work? And how could you possibly know you're crossing the map in a straight line? Well, let me answer both of those questions. The challenge works by using GeoWizard's rules. I choose a starting point and draw a perfectly straight line across the map to follow until I reach the opposite side. If I leave the centre of the line by more than a specified amount of distance, the run is over. GeoWizard uses 25 metres, I chose 30 metres, not knowing how IRL distance converts in Skyrim. And with the rules explained, I'll show you how I'll make sure I'm sticking to the line perfectly, and it's by using a custom mod I had created called GeoRun, made by the extremely talented Skyrim mod author DDM Link. So, how does it work? Well, once installed, you'll find the mod in the mod config menu, and this is where the magic happens. First, you'll set the challenge distance. In my case, I'll set it as 60, which gives me 30 meters either side of the center of the line. Next, you'll choose a start location, and this can be anywhere on the map. Once there, click place target, and a statue will appear to show you the start line. And finally, choose a horizontal or vertical, depending on your start location on the map which will draw a straight line from your position to the opposite side. Now the fun begins. Once the challenge has started, your position on the line is constantly tracked by these numbers. The player moves, and the centre number changes depending on location. Above and below signify the left and right signs of the line. If your position crosses either of those numbers, you're in trouble. Don't worry, you get some warning by the text turning red if you're getting too close. What happens if you do leave the line by more than your set distance? Well, I wanted this to be difficult, so you're instantly killed, and forced to lose all progress since your last save. With the rule set and mod explained, it's time to get into this challenge, and join past Vale at the start line in the mountains east of Windhelm, with the mod active and the settings I've shown you. Well, just before I set off, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the challenge, and who knows, the mod may be released for you all to try. Let's get on the adventure. Already we're stumbling into a troll who has absolutely destroyed this camp. Uh, it looks angry, so let's probably get on the move. Run as fast as I can. I do not want to die 10 seconds into this. Don't think he's following me, so <laughs> we're in the clear. Probably going to run into a lot more than that as well. Okay, first obstacle. The Windhelm Stables. We can go left, we can go right. We'll be doing a lot of jumping, so let's get some practice in. Jump up these rocks. As you can see, there's a lot of mountains in Skyrim, so I'll be uh, using this method quite a lot. <laughs> that already looks quite nasty. I don't know how I'm going to tackle that. Okay. One thing at a time. Down here. Nice cold plunge, start the morning off. Still central on the line. And we've got our first enemy over there. What's that? A wolf or two wolves? Okay, we need some weapons. I did prepare a bow, so let's favourite that. And a sword. Get the bow out. And now my years of stealth archer training have prepared me for this. It'd be embarrassing if I miss now. Yep. I missed. Okay. <laughs> Ignore that. There we go, one down. It's coming in quick. Gonna get a shot off. There we go. I redeemed myself there. Ignore the first shot. We're not all perfect. Okay. Carrying on. I think I might be able to sneak on the road for a little bit. I don't know how long that'll work for. Got about a thousand in terms of distance. Oh no, it's flashing up red. Might be cutting it close. Yeah, okay, I need to start heading inside to the left, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting around that. Let's do a quick save. And let's attempt our first bit of jumping. So, 
veteran Skyrim players probably use this quite a lot, but the tactic I'm using here is just spamming the jump button while moving in all different directions, and you sort of get a bit of leverage to allow you to fly up mountains in a very unnatural way. But it works. That's, that's what I'm relying on. Hopefully the janky physics of Skyrim will let me finish this challenge. And just as I say that, I get stuck, so let's just do a bit more manoeuvring. Okay, we're not getting up there. Uh, we've got a bit of space to the right, though, so let's try this. Oh, working. We're clinging on somehow with the powers of, of Skyrim physics again. Bit of spam jumping up here. Can do this, I think. Need to get a little bit higher. Now maybe jump across. There we go. Okay. You just have to you just have to throw yourself in different directions and eventually you will get there. Uh how do I tackle this then? Right, I think, is still out of the line. Gonna go up here. Getting a little close. Uh I don't know what to do. Oh well, let's try, let's go right. Cling to the wall as much as I can. So I'm cutting a bit of the distance off. That's working. Okay, and I don't think we're making it around that rock. It looks a bit too far. So I think the plan is sneak up there onto that rock if I can. There we go. Yeah, you just have to throw yourself at different angles and there you get like this weird jumping glitch. You can just throw yourself up. Uh, still got a bit of space, I think. I can make this. Get the right angles, get a bit of height. Come on. Doing it. There we go. With the first couple of mountains conquered and Wintel moving further into the distance, the challenge was going well. Moving through an easier section of land easily was building confidence until I hit the first hurdle, which had me nervous. And I <laughs> thought that was a wolf about to attack me. Nerves are on edge. Come on, let's get up. Assess the situation. I already see a huge mountain over the other side. Oh, it's not that big. Okay, what have we got? Oh, God. We've got an ice wreath. I think that'll kill me if I go down. So let's see, where can I go? I think that's too far out. Best bet. Jump up there, get up that cliff. But this is an issue. If I shoot it, it might fall back a little bit. Good shot. Somehow didn't they? I don't know how these aren't hitting actually. There we go. Okay, well I've got a bit of space, let's run. Jump up here. Oh god, I'm getting a bit close to the left. I think I've got enough manoeuvrability. There we go. I'm stuck. Come on, i still got the space. There we go. Ice reef left down there. We're across. Safe for now. Continue. Starting to get a bit more hilly as well. I'm getting good at the spam jumping. Uh, okay. This could be tricky. That's a big mountain. I've got some ruins to navigate. I need to head a little bit left. I'm getting a bit far, too far right, I think. I might be able to head up the stairs here. Let's see if you can do it. Get another danger zone. Okay, so I'm 24,600. If it hits 557, I die. So I can't go that way. I need to... Climb up here somewhere. Uh, or maybe go round. Am I about to jump up there? Get up over this section? I think I'm pretty central here. I'll give that a go. Go as far left as I can. Getting in the danger zone, but I've got a bit of space. Come on. Still got a bit more space to make it up. And then if I can just get to the crest of this hill. Yeah, I could get up there somewhere. Come on. I'm glitching onto it. Nearly there. There we go. Okay. See, 
The jumping physics is very janky, but you, you can get up there. That's quite a steep hill, but you just shove yourself in that crack and carry on. Okay, next challenge. Let's see what I've got. Big hill. Uh, don't think I can go up there, so I'm going to have to cut either over there or through here. Let's see what's down here first. Uh, and we've got a Dwemer Ruin. And I think I see bandits. Okay. Assessment. If we go down there, we've got to fight. And I'm not sure if we... I don't think we can go around. We might be able to jump on there. And then up there. But that might be tricky. But I think if I chuck myself onto those rocks. Maybe have a bit of space on those buildings. Across there. Cling to that rock somehow. <laughs> and then up there. That might be my best chance. I don't think I can take on bandits, but yeah, I think I'm going to go for this. That's the best way. The first attempt at scaling this path went terribly, with a leg breaker giving me my first death. But wanting to prove a point, I picked up my lifeless body and went again. Get around this, cling to the rock as much as I can. There we go. Okay, we've still got a bit of space. We're in the danger zone, but we've got a little bit of space. That's only a warning, remember. If it's red, just keep an eye on the numbers. Uh, okay, if I jump, I die. I need to just cling to the wall. And then slide down. Oh, okay. We've still got a little bit of space. I need to stay to the right of these buildings. If I can't, I'm getting a little bit close to the ledge. Or the edge of the, the zone. Uh... I think I can cling to that wall. If I get up there, stay high, go around. Yeah, let's save. I put all my eggs in this basket. If I can't get up, I'm gonna somehow struggle to get back, but that's part of the challenge. Okay. We're up there. Stay as far right as I can. Keep going. I'm making it. Still got a little bit of space. 300, 400. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just in. I'm on 480. If it hits 756, I die. So I definitely want to be able to go around that rock. Okay. That was a challenge. I'm glad I did that though. I didn't want to fight. But now I've got to get up this. Can't go any further right. So I'm going to have to somehow... Jam myself all the way up there. Should be able to do. I think there's enough movements. Yeah, I've got enough movements to actually jump around and start getting a bit of momentum. And it's going a little bit left to open and some extra space up. There we go. Getting the flow now. Nice glitchy jump all the way to the top. Nearly there. Got a bit of extra room to the right now as well. Just need to be careful. Go, come on. Nearly there. Follow our patience. Don't panic too much. Just keep trying different things and you'll eventually get a bit of traction. Right to the top. Just one more jump and I think we've got it. There we go. With the first mountainous region conquered, we moved into the open plains of Whiterun, which offered a welcome change of pace. Keeping track of my position on the line was effortless. Walking through snow-covered forests, heading into open plains, and even having a heated encounter with the local farmers, I quickly made my way into the hills again, where I ran into some unexpected trouble. Uh, what have we got here? Ooh. Are they bandits? I'm going to assume they're bandits. I'm going to get a sneak attack off. They don't look friendly. Coaches. Okay, yeah. He was dealt with. And he just seems to want to die in a corner. If I can actually hit him. Somehow that's missed as well. Just stay there. Thank you. 
Do they have any goods I can take for the road? I'll take some gold in case I see anyone with a shop. I don't think I will. Oh, shit. 15 arrows, I'll happily take. Okay. Onwards. And we are heading up here. With the poachers dealt with, the next portion of the map was again fairly pleasant, roaming through the hills of the White Run area. But the dreaded mountains started creeping back onto the line. What is the best way to get up? I might be able to just sneak around it. I don't think I have to go all the way up. Let's see. Actually, head up this way just to be safe. Go. Nearly there. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't go around because there's a bloody saber tooth or whatever they're called. Saber cat. Uh, right, where do I need to go? I think I need to get down and across. Uh, does it see me? Can I do this quick? Or do I kill it? I oh, know it's coming back. And I've missed. Uh, let's just do some damage if I can actually hit the thing. No, what, my archery skills have uh, declined in my old age, I think. There we go. Okay. Run it. Or is he just going to hide? going to wait for me to move, isn't he? I can see you. I can see you. That's right, run. Okay, let's not hang around while well, I've got a bit of time. Straight up this hill, up to the rocks as fast as we can. Oh, God. Oh no, I can hear him. Come on. Oh, where is he? Oh my god. Okay. It was waiting in the shadows. Let's get a save and carry on. I do not want to do that again. They are deadly. Especially at level 1. Okay, down this hill. Let's look central. Hope there's no more saber cats that who's that are you friendly can't tell it looks like there's dead people uh are you friendly is it on the line i can speak to them the wanderer and the bat oh they kill bandits i'll happily loot you and go on my way mead for the road and who are you Those are bards. Uh, I'm not in the mood for a song. I've got a long way to go. Maybe at the finish line. Uh, and let's carry on. I'm getting dangerously close to the right hand side. So I need to start heading left. Sneak through that gap. If I can. Uh, no, I don't think I'm getting up there. Let's see if we can cling to this hill. Actually, that's perfect. Nice little route over. Uh, I see wolves. And I need to go... Up there, I think. Making short work of the wolves by actually hitting some of my shots, I continued running through an open valley and scaled up a small mountainside where I found a camp, opting to stay the night and wait for sunlight before continuing. The line continued to run alongside the mountains, with nothing but a few easy jumps getting in the way, but this easy route turned out to be the calm before a major storm. Relas Cottage. I can't remember what that is. Oh no, there's a dragon. Oh no. Okay, what do we do here? Do I have to go up that way? I don't know where the line is. Um, let's quick save and assess. I need to get closer to know where the line is. Please do not go up there because I don't want to fight a dragon. I don't think you can beat it at level 1. Uh, it's going this way. I am getting levels. Okay, still on the center. Oh, it's getting close. I don't like it. Um, something's detected me, but I don't think it's the dragon. Oh, no, this is terrifying. Okay, save again. I'm across. I think I need to keep heading up here. Or will I go in line of sight of the dragon is the issue. Be careful. Stay hidden. Oh no, this is terrifying. That wolves are can hear as well. 
is bad. Okay. I need to sneak up this way. Please don't see me. This might be risky. Oh, crap. I, I, no. Is that the dragon? Oh, no. I don't know if I, I, I woke the dragon there. I accidentally encroached. Oh, this is bad. Uh, what do I do? No, I don't think it's seeing me this time. Oh, no. No, it has. Okay. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I can't fight a dragon. I need to be a lot more careful. Oh, my God. Ignoring my own words about being careful, I died. And died again, each time in an embarrassing fashion, until I managed to stay patient and sneak my way up the hill unseen. Okay. Don't want to move too much, it's going to come around any second. There it is. Okay, I need to run. Let's get over the edge. Get down. If it can't see me here, surely it can't find me. That has to be it. Come on. I'm not getting a red mark. You know what? I'm saving. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> that was horrendous. Oh, if I got stuck there, I would have been so upset. Um, but now we need to worry about this. We're dangerously close to the left-hand side. Can we even get around? Yeah, I think we can sneak up here. Okay, we're getting back inside. Uh, let's get up this ledge. Assess what's next. Ranvig's fast. Okay, where are we on the map? Let's have a look. Ranvig's fast. We've just done Laurier's farm, that mountain range, the cottage, the horrendous dragon, and now we're there. Probably over halfway. We've got a little bit of flat ground there and then into that area. Okay. What have we got down there? Ghost. Do we even bother attacking? I feel like we can sneak past. The line is that way. I think. I don't think it goes up. You know what? I'm just going to make a run for it. I don't think anything sees me. Okay, I need to head left. Drop down, and I should be able to get back on the line. Am I okay? I think I'm back. Oh my god. I got ghosts, a dragon, and now another sabre cat. Uh, stay in the mountain. I think it sees me. I'm going to have to kill this. Let's get some damage on it. I've missed. Okay, if you stay there, that's handy. Because I don't even know where I need to go. I feel like I need to... It's going to be a cliff jump, I think. Uh, where is this creature? There he is. Can I get a shot? Oh, I can. It's not a very good shot, though. Careful. Oh, there he is. Hello. Just stay there. He's going to hide. But I can still see you. Just stay there nice and calm. Couple more shots. Don't worry. Nothing's happening. There we go. It's quite nice when they stand still and let me kill them. I don't like when they're attacking. Uh... But now we need to see where we can go from here, because I'm fairly sure we need to jump off a cliff. Uh, let's save again. And it looks like it's straight over here. Uh, okay. Get down, I think. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to jump. It doesn't look deep enough. I should be able to just slide down the hill. A little bit close to the left-hand side. Sneak back in. Okay. Uh, and where do I get up? 
can't go left. I need to head further in. And there's wolves as well. Oh no. Uh, how the hell do I get up here? Should be able to jump here. I think that's too far right. I'm not making it there. I think this is my only option. Should be able to get up this. Yes. Quite easy actually. Okay. And we are on the road again. After sneaking past a deadly dragon, sprinting through a fort full of ghosts, killing a saber cat, and sliding down a cliff, the next portion of the map let me regain my composure. And just as I calmed down, I met another challenge. Where the hell do we go from here? Yeah, we're going to have to keep going around this mountain. It's quite a steep drop. Actually, it's not that bad there. Well, actually, that's that's quite steep. Um, okay, how do we do this? Is that a wolf? Yeah. Oh, God, there's bandits there as well. Uh, okay, there's quite a lot of danger here. Let's save. We do have a level up in case anything gets too dangerous. Uh, where's that bandit gone? There he is. There you are. Can I get a shot off here? Nope. I've missed. Still. Is that high or low? I can't quite see it. No, these are terrible shots. Uh, and there's another bandit coming over. Okay, there's a couple. Um, how do we deal with this? Oh, there's three. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Um... I can't hit shots at all today. There we go. Okay, stay there. Let me kill you. Of course he moves. Will that draw them closer, though? Uh, might do. I think it is. Yes. Walk in a line so I can shoot you all. Hit. Okay, one dead. Don't slide off the cliff. I need your body. Okay, never mind. Uh, that's an archer. It's quite tough. One more shot, come on. See there. Thank God. And this one. Moving shot. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Yes. But they've all fell. Is that off the line? Probably. Yeah, I'm not risking that. And there's something else. Red over there as well. What is this? Another bandit? If there's another bandit, I'll try and kill them. Uh... And I need to do a precarious jump over this very waterfall now, don't I? Oh, my God. Jump, please. Oh, I don't like it. There's another one as well. Sneaky on the road trying to kill people, are you? Yes, come onto the road. Come onto my path. No, come back. Can you see me? I'm here. Come on. Over here. I need your goods. Keep coming. That's right. You need to get a little bit closer, don't you, just to hit me? Come on. I know what. Let's put out the misery. Oh, God. That was a bit close. No, I'm missing. Stand still. Now I'm getting juked. This is bad. There we go. Ooh. Can I get that? Is it, is it doable? I think it might just be in. Oh, it's close. Oh, my God. I can get it. Oh, my God. I'm 40. Whatever that distance is, I'm 40 off dying. Very risky, but we need arrows. Okay, done. And who's this? Another bandit. Do you have anything? No, but I'll take your food and I will take your gold. And now, quick save. I'm back on the road. After dispatching the bandits, the next portion of the map was an uphill hike with nothing but a couple of wolf encounters to cause me trouble. 
the flatter portions of the map really do offer a nice change from the trouble scaling mountains causes. I don't remember what dungeon or castle this is. Oh no, I have a feeling it's is it Forsworn. I think it might be a Forsworn camp. If my Skyrim memory is not deceiving me and I do not want to fight Forsworn. <laughs> Definitely be the death of me. Uh, but we first somehow got to get up here. Uh, can we make up that ledge there? Is that in? Oh, no, I don't think it is. Uh, oh, we could probably do this. Sundered Towers. Uh, I think that is Force One. Uh, but we need to get up first before we worry about anything like that. There we go. Okay, jump across. Now uh, we've got a path up, I know where to do. Jump across here. We should be able to sneak up. There we go. Okay. If it is Force One, I want to save. What's assess? Oh no, is, who's that? I think it is. Don't know where I need to go. Straight down. I think I need to run straight through the camp that way. No, well, let's just give it a go, see what happens. Am I on the line? Yep. Yeah. Oh my god, that's a big drop. Where am I? Oh, this is a camp, yeah. Never mind. There was nothing. It was just the wind. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> please don't shoot me. Uh, am I going the right way? Yep. Yeah. And I can see a wolf. There's two wolves. Are they following? And after dispatching more wolves and avoiding the force run camp, there's just another cliff and mountainside to contend with. The cliff should have been easy, but I decided to try and land in the water, adding on another death. Um. Okay. I think you can just sneak down here. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Be careful. Okay, okay. That wasn't too hard. I am a bit far right though. Uh, so I can't go up there. I need to head left. But this does not look easy. Oh my god. How the hell do I do this? Um, there maybe. I could probably sneak up there. Jam myself in that direction. No, let's give it a go. Drop a quick save. Spam jump up. Need to stay in this little area. Come on. Get in there. Okay. Up and around. This looks doable. Am I in though? This is the only issue. I think I've just got enough space. And jump up here. Okay. And then I need to head left so it's gonna be there oh, another castle um i oh know that's too far right oh can i get up let's give it a go if i die i die come on and just sneak in i can feel it maybe not come on No, I think it's doable. I think I've just got enough space. Come on. It cuts up so much of the mountain if I do this. Come on. Yes! Oh no, wolves. Where are they? Come in peace. Okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Save. What have we got here? Someone dead? Oh, there's people. Who's that? Horse one. <laughs> I'll take your bone fire arrows. Don't mind if I do. Uh, but I do not want to stick around. Let's just get through. Uh, and I need to head up here, I think. Ignoring my past version's idiotic self thinking he got fire arrows, 
I continue to scale the next portion of mountain easily using the jump spam method employed throughout the run, and enjoyed a glance back at the scenery now there's no imminent danger. Continuing on to scale some more smaller hills and mountains with relative ease, before emerging on the other side of the range with what I believed was the finish line. And I think we need to go that way. Yet one more mountain. But if we look on the map, we're closing in on the end, I think. This mountain I don't think is accessible. So we'll get as close as we can and that will be the end, I think. Okay, yeah, we still have to get over this mountain. Or maybe we can just skirt around the base of it. We've got a little bit of wiggle room. Sneak up here. Yeah, we're still we're still in by a decent margin. Although we do need to go up right now. Skirt around this area. I think we can. Oh god, someone's by me. Was it? Okay, it's wolves. It's wolves. It's not too bad. And we are, we are in the line. So I might just jump down, deal with these. Where are you? There's one. Other ones coming at me now. Is that all you've got? Right. What do we have here? Is this the end? Yeah. That mountain looks difficult to climb. I'm not sure where the line goes. I think it's heading towards the temple. And I think there's Dragger over there. Just sneak up. Yeah, the line's taking me this way. Multiple Dragger. Yeah, I need to stay. Yeah, okay, you're on the right line. Just peek over. Yeah, two Draga. Restless Draga. Okay. Could be dangerous. Let's fall back. I've got fire arrows, so I picked up fire arrows, remember? Uh, surely a fire arrow will kill it. Leave me be. Let me jump up the mountain in peace. Oh, God. Right, let's fall back around here, get some height, fire arrows. You can't follow me up here yet. Where are they? Force one arrow, nope. Force one bow, where are my fire arrows? Panicking. Did I pick them up? Am I being blind? Don't tell me I didn't pick them up. Or did I imagine fire arrows? What is going on? Oh well, I'll use the force one arrows. You're not bashing your shield anymore, are you? Come back. Stay there while I shoot you in the head, please. What's the matter? The restless dragon do take a beat and I'll give them that. And I'll take some of my arrows back. I think the other one was an archer, so I need to be a bit careful. Let's get a sneak attack if I can. Oh! Yes! Oh no, he's coming over. Do I just rush him? You know what? Sword. The final. Oh! Oh, he's got an axe. Ow! Oh, this is bad. Come on, I can get him. Don't execute me. There we go. Oh my god, that was closer than I thought it'd be. 
Please be all of them. After the Drago were taken care of, the only thing left to do was assess the endpoint. I checked the right hand path and the left hand path to see if I could scale the mountainside any further, but it looked like the door to Ragnvald was the furthest I could go. And after touching it, the run was complete. I'd successfully navigated the entire map in a perfectly straight line. Yes, there were a few deaths along the way, but it all added to the excitement and challenge. Looking back into the distance gives just a glimpse of the obstacles found along the way. If you want to try the mod for yourself, head on over to DDM Link's Nexus profile for the download and show him some love. This wouldn't have been possible without him.